Fletner Ventilator is the world leader in wind-powered ventilation for commercial vehicles. We have manufactured and sold ventilators to customers throughout the world since 1931. What are the main benefits of fitting a Fletner Ventilator to your vehicle? A reduction in condensation, the extraction of stale odours and fumes, the removal of excessive heat. In addition, there are no running costs. Fletner products are maintenance-free and have a lifetime warranty. This video demonstrates the fitting process for your Fletner TCX2. In this short film, we demonstrate a TCX2 vent being fitted to a commercial vehicle, but the same method will apply should you wish to fit this ventilator to a horse box, RV, truck or trailer, a portable building or for other flat-roofed applications. In order to prepare for the fitting process, you first need to ensure that you have the correct tools. The tools you will need to fit your vent are as follows. Safety glasses, a pair of gloves, and if you're working in a confined space, you may wish to consider using earplugs. In addition, you will need the fitting instructions supplied with your vent, a marker pen, and a pair of scissors. In order to cut the hole for your vent in the vehicle roof, you will need a drill together with a 3mm, 5mm and 6.5mm metal cutting drill bits and a hole saw. Finally, in order to complete the fitting process, you will need a tube of waterproof silicone sealant, a pot of rust inhibitor, a file for deburring the roof edges, a socket spanner and a torque wrench. Fitting Step 1 Start by removing the vent from the box. You should have a set of instructions, a rotor and shutter assembly, and a small plastic bag containing one nut and a plastic cap. First, lift the shutter off the clamp plate and set these aside for later. Then, lift the clamp plate and extension ring off the rotor assembly. Fitting Step 2 First, remove the fitting template from the instruction leaflet provided with your ventilator using scissors. Using a drill bit or other pointed object, carefully puncture the template in each of the screw hole positions, not forgetting to also puncture the centre mark. The product we are fitting in this video is a narrow base ventilator, which is ideal for fitting to vehicles with ridged roofs. A standard base is also available if the roof of your vehicle has no ridges. Once you have your cutout template, select where you want to locate your ventilator. The TCX2 is a powerful ventilator and therefore should only be fitted close to a roof strut as is being pointed out in the video and ideally towards the rear of the vehicle. We recommend you do not fit your ventilator in a large unsupported section of the roof. For best results we recommend the addition of a passive inlet air grill set low down inside the vehicle. Fitting Step 3 you are now ready to drill the holes in the vehicle roof. This can be done from either inside the vehicle or from the outside if you have the appropriate safety ladders. Once you have decided on a location, offer up the template to the roof and mark the locations of the three holes with a marker pen. Don't forget to wear safety glasses for this next stage. Using a 3mm drill bit, drill three pilot holes in the roof of the vehicle. Next, open up the two fixing holes with a drill fitted with the 5mm drill bit. Finally, open up the centre hole using a 6.5mm drill bit. Next, using a 75mm to 98mm hole saw, depending upon which base you are fitting, proceed to cut the hole for your vent in the roof of the vehicle. Carefully remove any burrs from the cut edges of the hole using a metal file. Once you've done this, use a good quality rust inhibitor to protect the exposed metal surfaces against corrosion. Fitting Step 4 Add sealant to the foam gasket on the rotor base that will make contact with the roof when it's fitted to the outside of the vehicle roof. Place the rotor base on the roof, taking care not to let the base drop off the spindle. Push the two steel locating pins fully through the small holes. The gasket needs to be in full contact with the roof. Fit the rotor assembly to the base, ensuring it locates properly. If you have done this correctly, the rotor will spin freely. Next, fit the extension ring to the clamping plate. 
From inside the vehicle, offer up the extension ring so the two locating pins protrude through the holes in the ring and then fit the clamp plate, centering it on the steel shaft, taking care not to dislodge the rotor. Then, using a half inch or 13 mm socket spanner, fasten the clamp plate to the roof using the M8 locking nut provided. A torque wrench should be used to tighten the nut to a minimum of 2 newton meters. Finally, place the plastic cap provided in the central recess of the clamp plate. Turning it is necessary to ensure it's pressed full home. All you need to do now is fit your shutter, which should always be fitted when the extraction of fumes is required. For fitting purposes, set the shutter to the closed position. Align the three clips with the three slots on the clamp plate and push firmly home, ensuring all three clips snap into place. Open the shutter to your desired position. If you have fitted the ventilator correctly, the rotor should spin freely and there should be no vertical movement. When fitting out your vehicle, don't forget your Fletner.